Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Casper Network, specifically why I believe that Casper is a 100x gem. I've made videos like this in the past, but I do think that this needs to be re-updated because we have started to see a big shift in scenery around what is really being focused on around distributed ledger technology. I also believe that Casper is becoming a major player, a significant player in the evolution of tokenization within the banking and the financial sector, and we will address that as well. But first, I do want to address the market cap at which Casper will be a 100x, about roughly $66 billion in market cap for Casper to hit about $6 per, which would be equivalent to roughly 100x. What's crazy about this is that as we do see meme coins going absolutely parabolic, and I did talk about a meme coin today, which was the first ever on this channel, um, I do think that it is also very important to not only get focused on the bigger picture, but also to really kind of ignore the idea of, all right, meme coins are just it. No, I do think that if anyone is buying meme coins, obviously you should be looking into utility gems as well to back up those investments if they do fail. To me, when we do look at Casper, I think that this is one of those very special altcoins that has the potential to hit some astronomical highs. I do think that a 100x opportunity in this space kind of looks like something like Casper, where a lot of people are just kind of ignoring it. A lot of people don't really want to you know, focus on what they are doing, and you know, they're just kind of overlooking it. And they're overlooking it at the bottom point. When we actually look at the market cap for this thing, it is sitting at under roughly a $700 million fully diluted market cap. The token supply for this thing, I've talked about it, 8% year over year. A lot of people think that that is bad. A lot of people think that that is, uh, you know, something to avoid in terms of this project. But the problem is, is that guess what? A lot of those individuals don't realize that if you stake your Casper and earn 10.6%, I believe it is, Guess what? You completely defeat the overall inflation while earning a ton of Casper tokens. In terms of the supply, it will take over a decade for it to double in supply, which is significantly less compared to like the top 10 tokens or even the top 15. This is why I believe that Casper will make incredible gains going forward on in time. The tokenomics to the use case potential of Casper is significant. I also think that as we do focus on the team, they are constantly building and growing. But now I want to talk to you guys about Actus. This is the standard that I truly believe will reshape the world of finance. So what do you see from Casper themselves? Imagine a world where financial transactions are conducted with the same transparency and efficiency as sending an email. This is the world that Casper, in combination with the Actus standard, aims to create. One of our focus areas is algorithmic financial standards. We are leading the way in implementing open source smart financial contract standards, such as the open source Actus standard. And then we do see down here, uh, traditional banks need not fear blockchain technology, but they should be aware of its transformative and potentially disruptive qualities. Standardized, machine-readable, and machine-executable algorithms are indispensable for this new technology. And I want you all to focus on something when we look at these use cases, and that is automation. Automation is one of the biggest overlooked efficiencies of blockchain technology. When you build something that has trust behind it, you can automate things like transactional flows and also things within the transactional flow. Digitizing the workflow itself around the traditional financial world is going to bring an incredible efficiency to the system. Now with this, this is right on par with Casper's vision. We do see tokenization. They are focused on the tokenized economy, which I've talked about. I do believe that the tokenized economy is on its way. I believe that this is a significant thing to not only make sure that you are paying attention to, but you are awake for, because this is going to be the evolution of everything. We do see tokenization is the process of creating digital assets or tokens that can represent a wide range of physical and virtual assets. This can include everything from real estate, art, and collectibles to financial instruments, loyalty points, and digital identities. Talked about this in, in terms of real estate. 
it is a 300 trillion dollar plus market cap globally that is a huge asset class to tokenize why do i believe that it will be tokenized well it's very simple you make an illiquid asset class liquid you also have fractionalization which allows anyone to be an investor in real estate it is one of the biggest obstacles to success around individuals investing into real estate when you have a 10 million dollar apartment complex and you want to have individuals invest into it you could fractionalize it into tens by having individuals invest 10 percent into that building they will own 10 percent of that building which is significant this is why tokenization will be very successful around real estate and it just makes sense and it's so much more and i'm very very excited about this i do think that tokenization does have the potential to not only disrupt massive massive asset classes but ultimately bloom new economic uh, opportunities just like they say down here but with that in mind i do also want to talk to you guys a little bit about this actus standard so a lot of people have made videos talking about the actus standard i think that this is very very exciting for casper uh this is in part with nucleus finance for those that don't know nucleus finance and casper are working together we do see that there is a joint venture uh with casper labs for this to offer tokenization as a service and push the digitization of securities this is huge now this is a pdf file from the actus website and when we actually open this um pdf file over here we can see it a little bit so we do see this is from vm uh, Dayton service as well as nucleus finance and we do see with tokenization as a service it opens up or it opens up sorry it's well-known high performance interface infrastructure for crypto securities as part of the service data of issued securities is recorded structured and forwarded to tokenizers and crypto securities registries so this is pretty big and um, as we do look down here an initial proof of concept project for a classic bond and a structured product was successfully implemented based on data from vm data service and systems from Nucleus Finance AG. In doing so, Nucleus Finance AG brings a new task approach that allows on-chain and off-chain elements for the cost-efficient use of blockchain technology. And the first implementation is on the Casper blockchain. Very, very, very excited about this because, you know, if you think about it, tokenization of securities and financial use cases and things like that, it truly is going to be very, very large, um, not only in terms of the value added, but also the volume added. When we look at this, they do say, on the other hand, using the open source standard, Actus, the secure and verifiable, which is key here in terms of automation, machine readable settlement of the securities in the life cycle is ensured in a cost efficient manner. For the time being, Nucleus Finance AG and VM Dayton Service will focus their task services on the simple structured products such as certificate, sorry, certificates, warrants, and bonds. Depending on customer needs, other types of securities could be covered. So this is awesome. Um, I have talked about this. I think that this is definitely one of those use cases everyone should be very excited about on Casper because it truly does put into perspective just how large this space will become. What do I believe this? Well, listen closely to this video here from uh the x frontier and um this is a video talking about the actus standard and we do see here casper is building infrastructures for banks and large financial institutions to tokenize financial instruments nucleus finance is tokenizing these instruments using 32 contract types developed by actus research actus standard covers 98 percent of all financial contracts the Actus standard was added to the financial instrument reference date, uh, database alongside ISO 20022 by the Office of Financial Research. A common language for financial instrument used across the financial markets will improve data quality and, as a result, financial stability monitoring. Nucleus Finance partner, uh, partnered with VM Dayton Service, Europe's largest LEI uh, issuer and data provider for the global financial market, all being built on Casper. Casper's flexible finality thresholds provide institutions with security and speed prioritization based on value of transaction. This is just the beginning of the disruption to come. We are in talks with a lot of large financial institutions that are getting ready to take the leap. Listen closely to this video. So for us, a financial contract is an algorithmic representation. Plus, of course, it's still very important, the legal part. So we take the Actus standard for this. The Actus standard is an open source standard. It was developed over 30 years of research and development. The Actus is doing around 98% of all, covers 98% of all financial contracts there are. A bank, for example, a normal bank runs with around six to seven different, uh, different uh, let's say, cash flow exchange types. 
And this actor standard, as I said, it was developed by uh, Willy Bremert in its, its exception found its way after the 2008 mortgage prime uh, mortgage backed security or subprime mortgage crisis because no one understood what were the real cash flows that are potentially defaulting or that are potentially at risk. And we see that recently as well with SVB because no one understood what was the future cash flows, no one understood what is the potential issue. And Actus has those 32 contract types, which are cash flows exchange patterns, to represent exactly that. With 90, it covers 98% of all financial contracts. So there you guys have it. And uh, this has been one thing that I have been focused on for so long because large, large companies, right? One of them, McKinsey. McKinsey and company is a massive giant in this space. As you guys know, they have been super focused on blockchain technology, tokenization, digitization, etc. Um, this is one that has a reach to 500 plus ecosystem members, 20 plus companies acquired, and 750 plus clients served. This is an absolute giant of a company that is hyper focused, hyper focused on blockchain uh, technology. Look at some of their alliances. I mean, these are the largest companies out there, and uh, they did acquire a few companies as well. And also, here's a network of capabilities. These are some of the names tied to it. Obviously, you guys know a lot of these technology and applications uh, companies like AWS, Google Cloud, Microsoft, SAP, etc. Then over here, you have data and analytics, and then implementation and change as well. So again, and, and by the way, this is, these are just like some of the companies tied to it. There's a lot of other ones, um, but this is one of those companies that are very, very large, and it has a very strong backing. Now, when you compare this to what they have been saying about blockchain technology and the internet of things, check this out. So by 2030, McKinsey estimates the IoT, internet of things, uh, could enable 5.5 trillion to 12.6 trillion in value. However, with cybersecurity risk at an all-time high, trust has never been of greater importance. I do think that the networks like Casper and even Hedera, because these do boast quite a bit of security around them. Uh, we know that Hedera has ABFT. We know Casper has very high security as well. Um, I do think that these are going to be the networks that get focused on quite a bit with the Internet of Value as well as the Internet of Things. This is a very large amount of money that they are estimating here. I mean, 5.5 to 12.6 trillion is very, very large. And this is just for the Internet of Things. This is not talking about tokenization. This is not talking about digitization itself. This is just one specific sector. And this is very large to me. Now, also, they did talk about the future of banks, which was a $20 trillion breakup opportunity. Banks or banking is radically transforming. Many banks, let me zoom in here real quick so that you guys can see it, uh, can thrive by fundamentally changing the way that financial services are embedded into daily life. Now, a few things in here that I found uh, very interesting was they did say this massive industry already manages an estimated 307 or 370, sorry, trillion dollars in worldwide assets and its growth is accelerating. We project that global assets will grow to between 500 trillion and 550 trillion in the next decade. This is huge. Now, with this, we do see while traditional banks have been convenient one-stop shops for businesses and consumers, many have evolved their products in a way that matches the tech-driven pace of change in other industries. This is why I focus on uh, the technologies that are creating economic value around the financial space, especially banking. Banking is a big one to focus on because we already know banks are uh, kind of constricted right now with capital. We know that their technology is extremely insignificant. So when we take a look at banks, it, it's ripe for disruption. Um, but also, as we do, do look at a few things down here, uh, they did mention, so let me actually zoom uh, out real quick, or let me um, scroll down here real quick, because they did mention a few things that I found very interesting within this. They did mention personal wealth and health guardian, as well as B2B advisory boutique. Now these two, um, they're just really kind of breaking down a few sectors here. So at first they do mention AI, around AI itself. So we do see it features a blend of human experts and highly personalized AI that can guide customers through a broad range of investment and protection options. Like this is what we are looking at right now around uh, banks. Like they are literally facelifting the financial uh, sector by bringing in AI technology, uh, blockchain technology. I mean, all of this is exactly what we've been mentioning for a while on this channel around digitization as a whole. Not only spiraling within every single sector 
but also disrupting everyday life. This to me is everyday life. Like they even say like imagine a retirement plan, aid in college savings and protection against surprise medical costs, just a few of the services a guardian provides. Like this is crazy to me. And there's even things around real estate, uh, equipment and vehicle marketplace specialists and things like that. Like this to me is very exciting because there's so much around this that could be fully disrupted. Here's automated trading and funding marketplace. Again, this is actually talking about tokenization through smart contracts. So we do see serving as an automated marketplace means offering mass wholesale products and services for corporate customers. This model automates large marketplaces of liquid capital via uh, super sufficient, frictionless and low cost platforms, including tokenization through smart contracts. And guess what? The only blockchain that I've seen so far on par with standardization around tokenization as a service is Casper. Actus is a huge one to focus on because I do think that this is right on par with the standardization uh, that is needed for tokenization to be utilized through smart contracts within the banking and financial sector. And then we do see, of course, integrated enterprise services platform. Serving as an integrated platform means offering corporate customers deep integration with enterprise systems like such as SAP, uh, which by the way, SAP is one that we've talked about quite a bit, even with Hedera. There's a lot of connections with Hedera with SAP and even Casper. Um, and uh, yeah, I do think that there's going to be a lot of change happening. And here we have banking as a service. So Bass Utility Provider. So providing Bass Utilities is the same kind of relationship that an anonymous food company has with companies such as Costco or Target, creating white label products for retailers to market under their own brands. Like this to me is very significant because white label products are huge, especially in the real world, because you're going to see a lot of these services be provided to almost every major name out there. To me, what we are seeing is the evolution of everyday life. This is so large and I want you all to understand that this is what you want to see. You want to see companies like McKinsey um, and company talking about this radical change that's happening. As everyone and every single major government entity is telling you that crypto is a fraud and a scam and this and that, well, here's the power of crypto. You are literally seeing these financial services and disruptive technology being mentioned and talked about and discussed as a key significant role player in the radical change around banking, financial services. Mm -hmm. This to me is extremely large. So with that being said, this is exactly why I believe that, you know, short term, yeah, the gains around Casper are going to be significant, but long term, I'm telling you guys, make sure to pay, like pay attention to what Casper is doing because they are changing things up. They are creating standardization roles. They are becoming a standard around financial tokenization. It is only just the beginning around what Casper is doing and achieving, and I'm very excited for the long-term view on Casper. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, and notifications on. If you guys want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me over on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. Uh, this is up to you all. Have a beautiful day or a beautiful night. Wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.